Hello everyone and welcome back to another a pretty interactive chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca and in this chess game his opponent is unknown Alfredo Israel uh, from Argentina and this chess game was played in Buenos Aires in 1914. Let's see what happened in this highly interactive chess game by Capablanca. He starts the game with f4, this is already pretty interesting, this is the bird's opening. Uh, not the most common opening uh, by Capablanca, d5, knight to f3, knight to f6 and b3, e6, bishop to b2, c5, e3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, pinning the knight, bishop to d7 and white castled, a6, Capablanca is giving up the bishop, not the, not the best move, but this is also not losing. Uh, keeping the bishop would be better. And then c4, knight to d7. Uh, simply d takes on c4 is actually possible. But then maybe this was the idea of Capablanca, knight to e5. And if capturing the pawn, then knight takes bishop. Capturing the knight and then capturing the pawn. And white is doing okay. Uh, you can see that the c-pawn and also the a-pawn is a weakness and this is typical Capablanca creating slight weaknesses in his opponent's camp and he's going to exploit those weaknesses in the end. And surviving this against Capablanca is going to be difficult, even slight weaknesses is very dangerous against Capablanca. Okay, anyway, in the real chess game we have c4, maybe this was the idea of Capablanca, so knight goes back knight to d7 and knight to c3 queen to c7 rook to c1 so far actually black is doing okay now black has to develop his bishop and consider castling in this position but black played a weak move and that was f6 and after this weak move Capablanca who had the complete sight of the board he played very strong moves and he attacked his opponent like a lion. So after f6, c takes on d5, pushing the pawn and he wants to open the file. So the rook is eyeing the queen, so this is looking dangerous. So rook over, d takes on c5, knight takes on c5, and knight to d4, queen to f7. So in this position, actually white has a threat. Can you see that? Well, basically, white is threatening to play b4. So after defending the knight, knight to e6, forking the queen and the rook. So this is already uh, this is already looking pretty dangerous. Queen to f7 and then b4, defending the knight. And b5 by Capablanca, as you can see, there is not even time for developing the dark square bishop. a takes, knight takes. And in this position, knight to c7 is looking very dangerous. And then bishop to a3 after king goes down. So knight to b8. Queen is defending on c7. And Capablanca played knight to e6 every move is a tempo move every move is aggressive and it doesn't give his opponent any time to breathe any time to settle relax and calmly develop the pieces but there is no time so after knight to e6 bishop takes on b5 and this is also a taking to rook but Obviously, in this position, if queen takes knight, well, basically, this is just losing, forking king and the queen, and this is just game over. So, after knight to e6, bishop takes on b5, and Capablanca played knight to c7, and black is losing the casting rights. Knight takes on b5. Knight to c6, and black wants to castle manually in the queen side. But Capablanca simply pushed the e-pawn and the d-pawn is pinned. So king goes back, queen to a4 and it looks very dangerous. Queen to a8 looks dangerous. 
So king to b8, defending. And Capablanca played one after another, the most accurate moves constantly. So he played bishop to d4, developing the bishop, finally developing the bishop, but this is move 24, this is a little late. And another very strong move by Capablanca, he is pushing the pawn, of course. And if capturing the pawn, then capturing back, and both attacking the queen with opening the rook and attacking the bishop. So bishop goes back, defending, but Capablanca played. Boom, who rook takes on c6, what a shot. Eliminating the defender, and maybe checking the king is tempting in this position, queen to a7 is looking tempting. Uh, but there is a much better move in this position for white. Can you see that move? How white can play here in this position? If you can guess that move, uh, can you guess that move? It is not very difficult. Well, of course, e6 by Capablanca and a beautiful defender elimination idea. But of course, not capturing the pawn, queen to e7. It is not hard to imagine what happens if capturing the pawn. Then simply checking the king, only move, and then capturing the bishop and getting checkmated, deflecting the queen and checkmating the king. So this is the idea of Capablanca. But queen to e7. And, but as you can see, even if not capturing the pawn is causing some problems for black, because now this a pass pawn, this e pawn is cutting the escape square of the king. So after checking the king, the king can't escape to d7. So Capablanca is hunting the king, queen to a7, king over. And Capablanca missed a, the simple checkmate in this position. The most simple checkmate. Interesting. Uh, maybe he thought that this is more aesthetic, and it, indeed this is more elegant and aesthetic. He played queen to a8, and bishop goes back. Well, did you see the shortest way to checkmate the king? Actually, it is not queen to a8. It is queen to a6. And after moving the king, check, only move, and then queen takes on c6 is getting checkmated. And there is no defense. So this is what Black missed. Uh, this is what Capablanca missed, actually. Instead, he played queen to a8, checking the king, blocking with the bishop, the only move, and then Capablanca captured on c6. Of course, uh, if defending with the queen, then simply knight takes queen, bishop takes, and bishop to b6 or rook to c1 is still losing for Black. So bishop to c7 and Capablanca played queen check. And with this move, actually, Capablanca simply captured on c6 and this opens the rook. So bishop to b8 and the rook joins the party after rook to c1 by Jose Raul Capablanca. His opponent resigned. So after few weak moves in the openings, Capablanca gets the initiative and he attacks his opponent like a lion, like a tiger, uh, constantly. So after this move, actually there is only two possible uh, defensive moves, queen to c5 or queen to c7. Uh, let's say queen to c7 and then capturing the queen with the rook, check, mate. Okay, uh, what do you think about this chess game? If This move, then simply capturing the queen and getting checkmated again, and there is no defense. Okay, so what do you think about this chess game? I hope that you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And his opponent, of course, Capablanca's opponent was not the strongest chess player. But Capablanca uh, did his job, of course. Uh, what he did what he had to do with playing the most accurate moves constantly. When, when he solved the weakness, when he gets the initiative. So this is pretty impressive. And I hope to see you again uh, with more interactive chess games. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.